Don't dawdle. That one too. But Granny said... I don't care what the old woman said. You are not a little girl anymore. Now. Yes, Granny, I know. It was kind of sudden. Yes, you'll like him. He's wonderful and he adores me. You don't have to do that. <laughs> yes, I want them. I'll open them up as soon as they come. How do you know it's a girl? Isabel is a wonderful name. No, I haven't talked to my mother. Why would I tell her? I miss you too, Granny. Yeah, I love you too. I, I gotta go. Get all of your family. My granny. She sends her regards. Oh, and your parents. My dad. He's fine. You two must be exhausted. Dick, we should get out of here. Where? Okay, let's go. No, really, you guys are fine. Even though we live just a mile away, I promise that we are not going to be the type of in-laws who just show up at your door unannounced and make your lives miserable. Thanks. Uh, hey, son, before we go, let me show you a couple things about that plumbing. All right. A toilet is a toilet. He will call a plumber if he needs help. He'll call a landlord first. Oh, that's you, Dad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So let me show you a couple things so you don't have to call me. All right. Dick. He'll just take a minute. Dick is so nervous about everything working properly. We had some tenants that didn't take very good care of it. You know... If you don't like this wall color, we could always paint. Jason said he lived here as a kid. It was our first house. Belonged to Dick's uncle before that, and two of his nephews have rented it over the years. It's a charming house. It's nice of you to give us a deal. We wouldn't have it any other way. I used to live in a house like this when I was little. It had those big front windows. You could look out and see the entire block. I would sit my dolls up in chairs so that they could look out the window. That way they wouldn't be bored. That way they could watch me walk off to school and then watch me come back home again. 
and my mother divorced my father and she took me to live in a small apartment in the city. Windows faced an alley and I rode a bus to school. Divorce can be so hard on the kids. Did your mother remarry? She ended up alone. Oh, well, that's too bad. Well, you and Dick have been together a long time. What's your secret? I don't know, really. Stubbornness. <laughs> My granny always said, what a man wants for his wife, he wants for his life. And when a man crosses his wife, he better run for his life. Dad, I got it. I promise. Look, look. Just don't open this valve here unless you shut off the one outside first. Are you happy with her? Yeah, I am. I mean, I know it's going to be an adjustment, but we want all the same things. I mean, that's what matters, right? It won't always be smooth sailing. I know that. Do you love her? Dad. Of course I love her. Then what are you worried about? Dick! I'm coming, I'm coming. This looks really good, Kate. Mm, you sound surprised. I didn't think I'd like it, but I do. Makes this paint much less obnoxious. So have I softened you up to replacing the cabinets in the kitchen? I don't know, they've been that way since I was a kid. You don't even remember living here. Yeah, I know. Okay. We don't change the cabinets, but can we get new knobs? Knobs? Knobs I can do. I can definitely go for knobs. Samantha, hi! <laughs> so good to see you. Oh, I, not, I thought I heard someone say to come in. I didn't expect you to be in town. Well, I'm in for the weekend. My dad said you got married. I had to see it with my own eyes. Yeah, uh, yeah this is my wife, Kate. This is uh, Samantha Beasley. She's a longtime family friend. <laughs> hi, nice to meet you. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. So, you're a caraway now. Much better than being a Fuchs, Katarina Fuchs. Try growing up with that one. <laughs> well, this is just a little something I brought to welcome you and the baby. Oh, great. Uh, well, I mean, as you can see, we're pretty well moved in here. Yeah, it looks nice. The colors are great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, there's still a lot to do, but Jason has a few hang-ups. I told you you could decorate the baby's room any way you wanted to. Is the bathroom still pink? Yeah, it is, but uh, the walls are different. So you should see it. I feel like it. That must be the rest of your shit, Kate. Uh, I'll go get it. Uh, you guys keep talking, but not about me, okay? <laughs> so have you known the family long? Oh, since before I was born. Emily's like a second mom to me. She's so excited about being a grandmother. <laughs> this will be the nursery. Is all this for the baby already? Yeah. Jason and Sokes gave us the crib. The rest of it's mine. My dolls, mostly. Granny insisted on shipping them. They've been packed away for years. What an unusual doll. I'm sorry, she's just rather delicate. Is it an antique? Just delicate. I've never seen a doll quite like that. My granny gave her to me when I was a baby. She always called her my guardian doll. Said she would keep me safe from harm. She would tell me this story from her childhood. She lived in this remote village in Germany where all the little girls had guardian dolls. Sometimes in the morning they would find a dead or mutilated wolf or bear. They had blood trails leading away from the house. The women said that the dolls had come to life to save the little girls. Once in a while, a man would be found in the same ravaged condition. 
When they found him like that, they knew he had been a rotten scoundrel of a man. Kate! What are you trying to do, scare a guess? Just telling her what my granny told me. It's okay, folk tales are interesting. I just never heard that one before. Oh! Delivery guy's uh, waiting. Did your granny give you all these dolls? Mm, just this one. Her mother tried to take her away, but here she is. Still mine. Why would she take away your doll? She and Granny had different ideas about things. Dolls are very important for passing along maternal traditions. You sound like a therapist. Well, that's actually what I do in Nashville. I'm a family therapist. Oh, do you have children? No. I'm sorry. Not every woman is cut out to be a mother. I'm very happy for you and Jason. There's still another box this size, Kate. How many dolls do you have? A lot. Did you have to keep them all? I should get going. Wait, we haven't even uh, opened your gift yet. What'd you do with it, Kate? Oh. That is so thoughtful, Sam. It's gonna go perfect right here on this wall. There's a nail already here. I really should get going. Maybe we can get together for lunch next time I'm in town. I'm so glad you dropped by, Sam. I know, I can't believe you're back. My dad was just talking about this house today. Yeah? What'd you do? That's great. Serious, Kate. This is a lot of dolls. What if it's a boy? A boy will fit in here. They start out small, you know. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very funny. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how is it that Samantha knows you so well? What did she say? She's close with your mother. We practically grew up like siblings. Our moms were best friends, and, you know, we did everything together. <laughs> What's the deal with that thing? She's my guardian doll. It looks kind of creepy. I think so. Hmm. Well, better be careful or I'll stick her on you. Hey, Kate. <laughs> Jeez, Jason, you scream like a girl. A girl, huh? Who, uh -huh. me? Yes, what? you. Mm. That wasn't me. I think that was you. Mm. Oh. I'm going to put this stuff in recycling. I wish you could come. I know. I hope you feel better soon. No, I'm walking to Emily's. She invited me over for lunch. It's good to walk. It's even good for the baby, for Isabel. Right, he's working. I'm not really lonely. It's nice here. Yeah, oh yeah, uh-huh. Go tell, go tell, go tell it, Rody. Go tell it, Rody, that the old age is set. The one, yes, the one, yes, the one. I can't believe you're afraid of a puppy. I'm not afraid. I just don't like it. 
If I put the crate in the bag, can you get in there? Oh, those look so good. They look really good. Oh, you girls are having so much fun. We were. I like this one. Oh, I think that one's my favorite, too. It's my favorite. Yeah, hey, I got an idea. Let's go to Charlie's Have you given any more thought to having a housewarming party? I don't know who to invite. Well, I could help you with that. You know, Samantha said you've done some really nice work with the house, even since Dick and I were there. We're still not done decorating. Well, we'll wait till you're ready, of course. Well, I promise not to meddle. So you and Samantha are pretty close? Well, yes. Marianne, her mother, was my best friend for years. Samantha and I got really close after Marianne's death six years ago. I just think the world of Samantha. Well, you will too once you get to know her. You know, I should replace some of these. We'll have to get a new family portrait done. Well, now that you're a caraway. Looks like Samantha and Jason were pretty serious at one time. Ancient history, as they say. You should have told me. I've dated a lot of women, Kate. What do you want me to do? Name them all? She was here, in our home. And you just glossed over it like you barely knew her. I hadn't thought about it until she showed up. You didn't just date her. You dated her for years. And you were engaged to her. But it didn't work out. How can I compete with that? Damn it, Kate, you don't have to compete. Well, it seems like I do. With your mother, at least. Look, babe, there's nothing for you to worry about. I promise. My mother and Samantha's mother, they pushed us together our whole lives. But it wasn't what we wanted. You're my family now. That other stuff, it's all in the past. You should have told me. I know. I'm sorry. Don't do it again. <laughs> Come on. I brought home a rocking chair. Let's see how it looks in the baby's room. could have sworn it was staring at me. Straight at me. Staring at you? It must have been a trick of the light or something. Sweetie. Where's that wall hanging Samantha got us? Oh, that... It broke while I was moving some furniture. Kate. Well, it wasn't very sturdy.
8. I don't know what to think of her, honestly. I've known each other for a really long time. I guess I shouldn't judge. She seemed nice enough. <sighs> Mason, don't startle me like that. Yeah, Granny, I'll talk to you later. Jason's home now. Bye. Hey, I thought you were gonna finish up the trim in the kitchen today. I'll get it done before the party, don't worry. I tried calling you at work today. They said you were out of town. Yeah, I was at the uh, main insurance branch all day. Where? Uh, Nashville. Is there anything wrong? I just wanted to talk. I tried you on your cell phone. Yeah, there's a long stretch with no service, and I didn't think to check. Nashville is where Samantha lives, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. She loves it there. Uh, I can't stand it. <laughs> What was that? What was what? It sounded like something whining. You didn't hear that? Whining? And it stopped again. What the hell is that? I don't hear anything. You don't hear that? No. Maybe it was a cat. Maybe it's gone now. It didn't sound like a cat. Maybe it was in the movie. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess so. What is it? What happened? I had a nightmare. About the baby? I heard crying. Maybe it was that thing I heard earlier. A cat or something. I don't hear anything now. Come on, 
Come, babe. Let's go back to bed. Jason, if I hadn't gotten pregnant, would you still be in love with me? Yes. How do you know? I know because I was happy that you were pregnant. I'd already fallen in love with you, Kate. I just didn't know it yet. I didn't mean to get pregnant. <laughs> I know. I didn't mean to fall in love, but here we are. Do you regret it? No. I feel like I've been waiting for this my whole life. Do you regret it? I'll be right back. What's wrong? Nothing. I just forgot to do something. want to know if it's a boy or a girl. Uh, well, Granny says it's a girl and she usually knows. A girl? Oh, I wanted a girl in the worst way. I have to say, I was somewhat disappointed when Jason came out a boy. I got used to him, of course, and then Marion had Samantha. She was almost like a daughter. And now, of course, I have you. Mitch and Chelsea are here. Hey. There we are. Yeah. Come on. Mitch. Oh, sorry, we're late, Anna. Oh, all right. All right. Hey, Paul. Hey, this is uh, my wife, Kate. This is my cousin, Mitch, and his daughter, Chelsea. Hi. Mitch, uh, he owns a barbecue place downtown, uh, Brothers Barbecue. Best ribs in the South. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I don't know, they make some pretty good ribs in Atlanta. Oh, oh Mitch! Oh. <laughs> well, we'll just have to see if we can change your mind about that. Yeah. yeah. It's nice to finally meet you, Kate. Nice to meet you, too. Daddy, that's the lady by my school. Don't you remember? You had the puppy? Oh, yeah. I'm surprised you remember, Chelsea. Uh... Chelsea was afraid to get in my car because of this puppy I had. <laughs> <laughs> it was started. that day I walked over to your house, Emily. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Small world, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's get something to eat. Hey, hey Sam. How, How are you? Are you? How's business? Oh, what's going on? No, no, no. To this day, to this day, to this day, she insists that it was me who wanted the purple carpet. Okay. <laughs> why would I? Why would I want a purple carpet? What am I, a clown? <laughs> Oh no, we took that out as soon as you moved it <laughs> I like purple. So we can see that. How's your wrist? It's fine. Yeah, the cast is coming off next week. Oh, oh good. Good. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You remember living here, Chelsea? No, I don't remember. You were pretty young when we moved. That's right. Samantha, you played here all the time when you were a toddler. You know, I think you ate a few crumbs off this floor. Yeah. Paul and Marion used to come over all the time. Oh, yeah. Dinner, drinks, barbecues. 
poker game every now and then. I remember the night that Jason was born just like it was yesterday. <laughs> Emily here went into labor when she and Marion were out shopping. Marion took him to the hospital, and I came here to pick you yeah, up. Right. Yeah. And that red Dodge, yeah. Yeah, we ran red lights, yeah. hit a curb so hard, a bent a tire red. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know why we were in such a big hurry, because we sat in the waiting room for 14 hours. Wow. It was a stubborn thing. Wow. Like Samantha here pops out in an hour and a half. <laughs> How in the world do you remember all these details, Paul? Well, Marion never let me forget. I miss her stories. This house it meant a lot to her. Dad. She had this idea that well, our grandkids would grow up here. Dad. So, Kate, what do you think of small town life so far? It's nice. Yeah, it is. For the first couple of months. And then, for some unexplained reason, it gets smaller. And smaller? until pretty soon everyone you meet is someone you know. Yeah, I like it. Well, should be better for the baby at least. Mm -hmm. I'll go get some more rolls. <laughs> Still do it. You know, this place hardly even looks like the same house. Uh, you haven't even seen the back, Mitch. Jason gave us a tour before you got here. There's a, she has quite a doll collection. It's like a museum or something. Yeah. I don't think she's going to keep those dolls in the same room as the baby. Wow. Some of them are definitely not child. Emily. We'll do something with them all. What dolls? Well, some of them must be valuable. You need to put those away for safekeeping. What dolls, Daddy? Kate has a collection of dolls from when she was a little girl. They're in the baby's room. Oh, Paul was just uh, saying uh, how valuable some of your dolls might be. A few of them are. Uh, most of them just have sentimental value, though. Can I see them? Can I see the dolls, Daddy? Oh, oh I, I don't sure. know. Oh, sure. I'll show them to you after we're done with dinner. It's, that's okay. You don't have to do that. It's okay. Practice. I want to. When I was a little girl, I would tell my dolls everything that happened to me every single day. It would always make me feel better. And sometimes they would see me to sleep at night. It was always the same song. I will never forget it. It was Go Tell Aunt Rhody. You know it? It goes, Go tell Aunt Rhody. Go tell Aunt Rhody. Go tell Aunt Rhody. The old gray goose is dead. The one she's been saving. The one she's been saving. The one she's been saving to make her feather bed. The goslins are crying. The goslins are crying. I guess it's not appropriate these days. <laughs> well, let me help you get those in the dishwasher. Don't worry about it, Jason will do it later. I'll take the coffee in. Looks like it's ready. Oh, man. Paul, can you drink coffee this late? Oh, I can drink decaf if that's what you mean. <laughs> decaf is not coffee. <laughs> decaf basically means without calf. Now, how can that be coffee? Well, it tastes like coffee, gives the illusion of coffee. <laughs> is this cream or milk? It's half and half. Oh. Paul, you know what? You used to drink coffee all hours of the day. I used to be a young man, too. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about the house? I think you did a great job. With oh, no, it. I didn't do it. Did you didn't do, do it. Did. Did. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Those are so hot. Look at that No, I do not. You threw them away. Can you show me the dolls now? Not right now. I really want to see them. I'm busy right now, honey, okay? Have you talked to him lately? No. We're friends on So. You didn't catch me at my best the other day. You were under stress. It happens. Well, I hope I made a better impression tonight. You didn't invite Sam and me with some ulterior motive, did you? That was Emily's idea. She said you two were really close. Pick right back up, yeah. That's 
interesting. <laughs> Sam and I dated for a little while before she moved to Nashville, but there was that whole rebound thing, you know. From your divorce? Lack of chemistry. That's what she blamed it on. Chemistry isn't everything. That's true. My ex-wife and I had great chemistry. Well, Chelsea was born and then it just kind of evaporated. Well, you sure snagged old Jason pretty quick. He fell in love. Must have worked some kind of magic on him. How long has it been since they broke it off? Nobody's given me a straight answer. Well, it's just, it's kind of hard to say. I mean, they break up, they broke up a lot, but it just never really seemed to take. Then we heard he'd gotten married. You disapprove. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to me. I'm kind of soured on relationships right now. Well, divorce can't do that. Jason said you guys met at a conference? A training seminar. As soon as I saw him, I knew I wanted to meet him. Love at first sight. He gave me the cold shoulder at first. But when we finally started talking, we didn't stop for four days. Chemistry? Love. We're all chemistry when it comes right down to it. something incoherent about the dolls. Mitch will probably take her home as soon as he can calm her down. Some children have a strong reaction to things that look too human. Freud called it the uncanny. Things like robots and dolls that look so human. Our brains freak out a little. 
a lot of dolls in here. Something like that could overwhelm a child. She shouldn't have been in here. Shouldn't have let her be in here by herself. It's not your fault, Kate. No, of course it isn't. Jeez, for the baby's sake, you might want to consider putting a few of them away. So much more about it. She's Yeah. You want to go home? No. So it wouldn't be my screen thing. I think so. No. It's all kind of sometimes. You want to go home? Okay. Okay. Everything was lovely, Kate. I guess I better go get those dishes started. Well, that was Kurt. She's embarrassed. She made those dolls seem alive in Chelsea's mind. It's not Kate's fault that Chelsea had a meltdown, Mom. You didn't hear how upset that child was. Do you know what she said? No. She said the doll told her to go away. Look here. Bye -bye. See you. Hey, you ready? I'm coming. Okay, let's go. <sighs> Night, Jason. Good night, Mom. Night, Jason. Good night, Dad. You guys be careful. All right. I am upset. Okay, Chelsea will be okay. I know that. I think she she just got frightened. By my dolls. Well, go ahead. Say it. I know you're thinking it. You want me to get rid of my dolls? No. I mean, I don't love them. You do. Look, I just think we could put them away for a while. Huh? A while. Look, Kate, there's like a million dolls in there. I mean, if that freaks out a nine-year-old like Chelsea, what's that going to do to our baby? That's not why you want me to get rid of the dolls. You want me to get rid of the dolls because Samantha doesn't approve. What? Well, guess what? I don't care what Samantha thinks just because Samantha was the one that your mother wanted you to marry. Just because Samantha was your first fiance. I don't care what Samantha thinks. This has nothing to do with her. Doesn't it? Didn't you see the way everyone looked at you when you showed them the baby's room? They liked it. They were impressed. Impressed? Kate, your whole damn life is wrapped up with these stupid dolls. You're pregnant, and you never talk about what it's going to be like when our baby comes. They weren't impressed. They were concerned. And so am I. This baby means more to me than anything in the world. More than your dolls? Because I don't know anymore. I don't care. This isn't about you, so can you just stop? I didn't say that it was. Look, Kate, I'm sorry. Mm. I shouldn't have. Well, let's talk about this. Nope. I'll fix it. Everything has to be just like Jason wants. Kate, we have to be able to communicate. Oh, like you and Samantha communicate? What? 
Oh, you have so much catching up to do. Well, why don't you just go get her to have your baby? Kate! Oh, I'm sorry. She doesn't want children. She's not cut out to be a mother. Kate, now that's not no. fair. What do you want me to do? Throw them away? Will that make you happy? I'll throw them all away. Oh, throw them all away so that Emily and Samantha don't think that I'm crazy. Yeah? Yeah. Why don't you start with this one? Because this is the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Kate? Oh, God. Kate, I'm Ow. sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I got you. I got you. Oh, Jason, there's What's something wrong? wrong with the baby. Here we are. Labor and delivery. Oh, I don't think she's in labor. Oh, it doesn't matter. She's pregnant. This is where we take all the pregnant ones. How many weeks? No, what is it now, babe? Uh, 22? 25. Right. 25. Any spotting? Medications? She's 39 weeks and her water just broke. Babe, are you all right? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Having a baby. <laughs> We're gonna have a baby. Well, hang out here for a few minutes. I'm gonna go check on your room. I'll be right back. George, did you call my mom? Yes, yes, I called your sister too. <laughs> Another one for the scrapbook. <laughs> Little Georgie's about to join the world. Are you gonna take pictures like that all day? You're gonna need more batteries. Oh no, my brother's bringing the camcorder. You gotta record this occasion for the whole family, you know. No. <laughs> In, two, three, out, two, three. Don't clench your fist, babe. George, you're going to be such a good father. Jason, the nurse is talking to us. Right. Your vitals are good. The nurse is going to take you back for blood and urine. The doctor will be with you after that. 25 weeks. Okay. There doesn't seem to be any physical threat to the uh, pregnancy, Mr. Caraway. Are you, uh, are you aware of any Emotional issues, stress, and new tensions? No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, uh, if you don't mind, could we just step outside for a moment? I'd like to talk to her alone. I'll call you as soon as we're done. Please, it's just standard procedure. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, can you take her home, Mr. Kirby? Is there anything I need to know? Well, until the baby comes, just try to keep her stress levels as low as possible. Well, the baby's okay, then. Yes, the baby's fine. As far as your wife, have you considered counseling? Counseling? Is she estranged from her mother? I don't know. Never really talked about her childhood. Dr. Hartley, we need you. Maybe you should, son. Please excuse me. Oh, babe, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Clean up the baby's room, okay? No. I will tomorrow. I, I don't mind, really. I don't want you to touch them. Is that like 
pictures of your family and stuff. Do you think you could get me some orange juice? Some graham crackers. Kind of hungry. Jason, did you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I heard you. Yeah, Mom, I just think I'd feel better if you stopped by. I've got to go out of town for my job today. Yeah, after lunch would be fine. Just be casual, okay, Mom? Try and really get to know her. Look, Mom, I, uh, I gotta go. Yeah, I'll call you later. Okay, bye. Just, uh, just looking for my keys. I set them over here last night. Oh, thanks. Um, you sure you're gonna be all right by yourself today? I'll be fine. Well, look, I've got my cell. If you need anything, just call me, okay? Good day. All right. Do you mind if I go to my car? Right, sure. Is Kate okay? Mm -hmm. Just keep down. 
doctor says she is. Uh, I'll talk to your office. Your mother said she was having early labor pains or something. Yeah, well, I didn't tell my mom everything. You know how she is. Well, what happened? Physically, she's fine, but... The ER doctor thinks she should see a psychologist. Do you want me to recommend someone? No, I just... I thought maybe you could take her to lunch, you know? Ask her some questions. You want me to diagnose her over lunch? No, Sam, that's not what I'm saying. I mean, I trust you. I always have. If I have to admit to my parents that I screwed up and married a basket case... Well, have well, you I mean, considered I... couples therapy? I don't need therapy. Look. She's got this photo album. I've seen her look at it a few times, but she's never showed it to me. It's like it's this big secret or something. This morning, I looked through it. She cut her mom's head out of most of the photos. Well, how did you know it was her mother? The pictures are labeled. She didn't think much of her stepfather, I can tell you that. I didn't even know she had a stepfather. Jeez, Jason. I don't know my wife at all. I think I made a big mistake. I... I miss you. Don't. I can't help that. Jason, we shouldn't. I know. I know. Look, uh, maybe I should go. I always thought you'd come back to me. I think Chelsea left her sweater here last night. Oh, come on in. I'll get it for you. I heard you had to go to the ER last night. I did. I'm okay now. <sighs> okay, good. I I was afraid maybe it was Chelsea's tantrum, or maybe something I said. No. Jason and I had a fight after everybody left. It's probably what caused it. I hope everything's okay. It will be, I guess. How's Chelsea? Oh, she's fine. <laughs> Kids are resilient, you know. And my ex-wife, on the other hand, <laughs> that's, that's, that's another story. Can I ask you a favor? I'd kind of like to see those dolls, if you don't mind. My ex-wife keeps quizzing me about them. I swear, every time Chelsea whines or gets sick or anything, it's, it's all my fault. That doesn't sound very fair. No. What are you going to do? Here they are. Holy cow.
Chelsea keeps talking about one that whispered in her ear. I have one that cries. <laughs> I should have been in here with her. It's not your fault. Got distracted. Is this all you needed? Yeah. Look, Kate, um, there's something I didn't tell you last night. Samantha and I, we were serious after my divorce. But I was her rebound, not the other way around. She wouldn't make a commitment. She just kept going back to Jason. I, I just thought you should know it. It's a pattern with them. They always end up back with each other. But they're over now. Really over. He married me. Would you tell me if you saw anything that I should know? Yeah. You should go now. I have a patient soon. You should go. Samantha. I know. I'll call you later. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything except show him the dolls. He didn't even touch me. He didn't even shake my hand. He is a nice man and he's family. This is my family now. This is my family. I will not have these thoughts in my head. Mitch is not some kind of monster that takes advantage of innocent women and does unspeakable things. Oh, Emily. I didn't expect you. I was resting. Well, how do you feel? Much better. News sure does travel fast. Well, of course, we're family. You want some tea? That would be nice. My granny always said, you can share your tea, but not your secrets. You never know when you'll need your secrets. Where are you from, Kate? What is your story? Yes? The patient's here. You okay? I could reschedule. No, I'll be right there. Okay. Mom. Kate?
There you are. Jason, you're home. Is it 4.30 already? Kate, you should be resting. I'm fine. Oh, don't get all huffy. She is resting. We've been spending some quality time together. <laughs> you know how to hold a baby. Mother, that's a doll. But do you know how to hold a baby? Yeah, I think so. Well, here, I'll get this inside. Can you pick up the rest of it for me, please? Of course, we'll be right there. So, been here all day? Oh, just the afternoon. <laughs> Started telling stories about when you were a baby. Next thing you know, we're drinking tea and laughing like schoolgirls. And I think she finally understands Sam is not a threat. Get going. Dick's gonna wonder where I've been. Okay, Mom. <laughs> Thanks for coming over. You look kind of tired. Hope we haven't overdone it today. I'll be okay. So, did you enjoy spending time with my mom? It was very informative. What'd you guys talk about? You, mostly. What about me? It's, it's my boss. I'm gonna take this. You shouldn't call me. Jason, I feel awful. We just can't keep falling into these patterns. We've got to figure this out. I can't talk. She's suspicious. I need to see you. Now's not a good time. Meet me halfway off the interstate at that park for lunch tomorrow. You owe me that. I'll try. Jason, we've got to fix this. Look, I gotta go. not to do that anymore.
Hello, Samantha. Hey, Kate. Yes, Jason left his phone here. Actually, I wanted to talk to you. I don't have your cell number. Talk to me? Uh, yeah. I was coming to town today and I was thinking maybe we could get together for lunch. Will Jason be invited? No, uh, just us girls. I could meet you somewhere, say, one o'clock? I could pick you up at your place. Okay. All right, I'll see you then. What? Don't look at me like that. Barbecue. It's for you. Take a message. But she says she really needs to talk to you. Who is it? Johnny, finish saucing these ribs for me. Yeah. Mitch, I'm trying to reach Jason, but he doesn't have a phone. Can you see him? I don't know where he is. Why are you asking me? We were supposed to meet for lunch today, and I can't find him. He's not at work? No, and he's not at his house either. Look, if you see Jason, just tell him to call me. Okay? Yeah, sure. Hey! Hi. I brought some of those ribs from my restaurant. Oh, that's neighborly. Well, you gotta make sure you eat enough. No, for the baby and all. How you feeling? Okay. I think I know what you're going through. I'm gonna come in. What is it? Got a voicemail from Samantha while we were out. You know, I think I'm gonna check on Jason and Kate. He said you weren't gonna meddle. I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. You always do. This is not meddling. This could be serious. Nobody's seen him and even I can't get him to answer my calls. And maybe he and Kate are having a day at home together? They could answer the phone. Emily. Just gonna knock and make sure they're okay. I always forget her eyes make people uncomfortable. Expect to 
place, I don't know. I don't. I hope you were practicing bathing the baby. That doll looks like a drowned. Where's Jason? He's in the back. them together. Who? My granny always said, woe is the mother who comes between her son and his wife. Now, dear. I'm not your fucking dear! Jason! 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 Help me! Jason! Jason, help! No! Kate? Kate? I'm here to pick 
pick you up for lunch, remember? Emily? Kate, is everything okay? Kate, where is everyone? Everybody's gone. Emily? Mitch? Gone. Gone. Jason? Everybody left me. Where did they go, Kate? We have to protect the weak and the innocent from scoundrels and predators. to protect Isabel. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? Where is Jason? She's been saving 
try to get my mind right. Your temper's so 